Do you it's, consider yourself an emotional male? Not really. I would say I, I do a good job of, you know, controlling them. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in the fucking mom came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this bitch lied and said that I got a pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. All right, so you guys all know Fresh and Fit. They're one of the most infamous YouTube channels in the red pill space. And honestly, over the past few years, they've kind of ruined their reputation with a few big controversies and scandals they've been involved in. Some of the big ones include copyright striking people's videos that criticize them because they use clips of their podcast. You know, they abuse the copyright system whenever people criticize them, which is already one of the cringiest and most scummy things you can do as a creator. But I think it becomes even worse and more hypocritical when you realize that these people try to be the bastion of free speech. You you know, they stream on Rumble because they're being censored by YouTube and their videos are getting taken down, right? But then they are also the first ones to take down content that criticizes them. So are we pro free speech or are we not? The haters tried to kill us over 30 plus YouTube channels, made videos like slander our name, whatever it is. Now they're mad that they're getting, there's consequences of actions, bro. Y'all are not going to be able to run around and drag our name in the mud with, you know, falsely without some kind of recourse, bro. Like that's just not the way the world works. And just, and just because your your reality is ours doesn't mean that we're wrong. Like, we live this lifestyle. This is who we are. Adam Griffin says, can you ask why these clowns tried to take down Abba and Preach with fake DMCA strikes? What? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go into it? Uh, it it's it's uh... so, so so basically, uh, we have a lot of people that talk about us on the internet. And some of it is slander. Some of it is defamation. And using our content in their videos. And we're like, okay, cool. We've waited out for a while for you to stop. You're still doing it. So, oh, you know what? Cool. Now we're going to take legal action against you because obviously we're attacking our, our character and our integrity. So at that point, hey, it's all fair game. Yeah, I mean, yeah. simply put, if someone breaks into your store, right, and use it, takes a broom off, you have a hardware store, takes a broom off the shelf and starts beating you with your own broom and won't leave and does it for four months, what are you going to do? Like to Myron especially, he's cool with calling anybody who disagrees with him gay and cringe and blue-pilled and they take it in the butt, right? But the moment that I sit here and show you these pictures and say, hey, maybe he does that himself, you know, he'll try to take down my video. Or if I use enough content of his own, he'll try to take down the video, 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 video. Now, Myron tends to be the one who's highlighted whenever people criticize Fresh and Fit because, how do I say this, his co-host Walter does seem to have trouble stringing together basic sentences. Some of them are mad that they can't do what we do. That's, that's what it really is, man. Yeah. I don't want to be ableist. I don't know if he has a stutter or some sort of issue, but for a guy who runs a podcast and is literally seen by tens of thousands of people live, he does seem to not be the greatest at, you know, speaking. Have you guys seen those memes where it's like the Fortnite kids who are like, let Ole, he is so cringe, and it's like they can't say literally he's so cringe? The level to which those kids are hindered by their speech impediment does not even come close close to how bad it is for this guy, Walter. And you know, I'm kind of picking on this guy for not being able to form basic sentences, but that's kind of the least of this guy's issues right now, as he's recently been caught up in a scandal where he found, I believe, an escort online, and he started dating this girl having unprotected sex, and then got her pregnant, and then forced her to get an abortion, which I think regardless of how you feel about the legality of escorts or abortion or anything like that, dude, like, that's just really not good. And I think this becomes exponentially worse when you realize these people have a channel with 1.5 million subs where they talk for hours on every single podcast giving advice to young men on how to live their life and how to interact with women. Now some of it is funny but I don't think anyone can deny they do kind of just treat women like shit on this podcast and before any retards come at me in the comment section calling me a simp dude I think it's funny to joke about I'll oh, get back in the kitchen. I think jokes about women can be funny in the same way that jokes about literally anybody can be funny you know saying women can't drive. I really don't care about that but I think my attitude toward you will shift when I'm realizing your entire thing is based on convincing young men that women are satanic and like a bunch of suck you by respect one of the mandatory ingredients for respect you guys want to know what it is fear of losing of yeah fear whether it's physical violence or of loss but the point is, is that woman needs to be scared. They basically profit off of breeding insecurity in young men. They have to make young men be afraid that they're going to get cheated on, that they're going to get used for their money, that these women will take everything you own and ruin your life, which like, obviously you should be cautious when entering a relationship, but you will not be a healthy person if every time you start dating somebody, you're literally being a paranoid schizophrenic about everything they're doing. And I know this is true because I'm personally like this. Like I get really paranoid sometimes. I have pretty deep seated trust issues that I, 
I, uh, you know, wish I didn't have, but ultimately, I don't think it's good that these guys are making a fortune giving these insecurities to more people. If you called into Fresh and Fit basically saying like, hey, my girlfriend hasn't responded to me in 30 minutes, they'll be like, yo, bro, dump her. She's cheating on you. It's like, no, actually, I don't think she is. Now, the relationship advice they give to young men, I would say is like 60% bad, 40% good, because obviously the 40% good is the most obvious stuff. Like, you know, pay for the first date, be a provider, be a protector, be masculine, go to the gym, you know, basic shit that I think everyone should have learned from their father. But then there's like the bad stuff, you know, like, oh, don't open up to her. Try to be like a mysterious Sigma, be conceited. It's like, dude, are you retarded? If you're on your first date sitting across the dinner table with a girl that you're interested in, and you think the alpha move in that situation is to just basically sit there like an autistic non-verbal person and not say anything to her and just sit there with your AirPods in because you think that that mysteriousness is going to entice her to talk to you and like ask questions and be like, wow, he's so cool like Batman. No, she's probably going to think that you have some sort of undiagnosed behavioral issue that you should seriously get checked out. Sorry, that was like a big long rant, but yeah, their advice is really bad and I think it's because they personally don't know what they're doing in relationships and that was proven to me when I saw this whole thing go down with Walter where he got that escort pregnant and forced her to get an abortion and it's like, that's got to be a disaster for him. You know, he's dealing with that. Meanwhile, Myron, every single time he wants to call somebody gay, which he does quite often, you know, any video that criticizes him that he can't copyright strike, he'll just respond to it by calling the person who made it gay. You know, he'll be like, oh, you like dudes. Lol, lol, you like dudes. And you don't even want to have to pull this card, but you're forced to when he's alleging that you're gay. So you're forced to bring up these images of him back when he was in college or in his like early 20s, where he's literally having a half naked dude rest on his lap or when he's behind a dude and he wants to kiss him. And he responded to these clips somewhat recently by saying like, you know, I was uh, on a lot of sports teams when I was younger and that's just the culture, you know? It was just the culture for me to get groped by men my age and enjoy it because it was a team sport. Like, I don't know if that's a great excuse. Now, just to get this out of the way, I feel like you guys could assume this, but I don't care if you call stuff gay. I call stuff gay all the time. But usually when I call something gay, it's like not gay. I just use gay as like a pejorative. I'm like, oh, that's gay if I don't like something. If I'm playing Counter-Strike and I get headshot from Spawn, I'm gonna be like, holy shit, this game is gay. Now, I'm obviously not asserting that the video game, you know, the software is homosexual. There's just no way for that even to be possible. But when Myron calls people gay, he's like literally alleging that they are homosexual. When he calls Abba and Preach gay, for example, he's actually trying to pull up clips to prove it. Which is what I want to talk about today because Abba and Preach have been recently making a lot of videos about Fresh and Fit. And recently, it's come to the point where Fresh and Fit are absolutely losing the plot and they're calling Abba and Preach sodomites. They uploaded a video one day ago called Fresh and Fit Andrew Tate claim we're quote sodomites and they want to attack us. Apparently both you and I are very gay. At the end of the day, bro, you can't win because you're a sodomite. You lose automatically. No one gives a fuck what you gotta say. Let me keep this up. I get this a lot. I get called uh, gay pretty often. Preach much you? more than me. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. He called, the, he called me and you bunch of sodomites a bunch of time and they played a clip of you dancing. Yeah! That's Mean Gene. Wait, who's Mean Gene? Uh, mean Gene is um is a character that I have when I dance whacking. Whacking? Yeah. Okay, go on. I used to dance whacking. I don't dance anymore. No? No. You make money moves? Yeah, man. I was, I was also teaching that dance. So yeah, they saw this and they were calling you a sodomite a bunch. That's fine. And they got me over here. <laughs> and you're gay because you dance south? Oh, my God. <laughs> now, here's the thing. People, I mean, I people DM'd me a bunch of times. A lot of people hit me up, right? And, and look, you know, you know I, I saw Andrew Tate in the comments being like, I'm not surprised. And here's the thing. I think this is one of the funniest insults online because to me, it's not one. And this is also something that I think is like really common for black folks, especially because everything is sus. Everything is, you Perfect. like anime? Gay. You like reading books? Gay. Me hanging out with girls? That's gay. Me dancing? That's gay. You like to play video games a lot, especially back in the day when it wasn't cool? Gay. Everything was gay. It always used to make me laugh because I'm like, first off, I don't see anything wrong with being gay. And secondly, the hyper masculine dudes who are like, oh man, that's gay. Blah, blah, blah. They do the most such shit behind closed doors. You got Myron over here laying in bed with dude, grabbing him from behind, cuddling, like, that's not gay. I've been to a lot of concerts. I ain't never been by well, one hey, of my homies hey, like, hey, yeah, hey, yo, hey. yo. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Calm down, Diddy. I, I, I looked at those pictures Cut and I up. wanted to be open-minded. I have literally never been sitting in a like a booth 
and laid back into another man's lap. At this point, the beef between Abba and Preach and Fresh and Fit isn't even like about anything anymore. I, I don't even know what they're beefing about at this point. Like obviously they've given a lot of bad advice, so I assume the beef started with Abba and Preach reacting to a really weird clip they produced. And from then on, a back and forth was started between them. But at this point in time, they're literally just calling each other gay. The, the beef at this point is like, you are gay. Why are you gay? Yeah, so check out these clips of Myron calling Abba and Preach gay. But you know what? At some point, these fists are going to chase your f***ing face and you're going to get your shit rocked. You bitch ass motherfucker. You're a f and you f***ing know it. And no one f***ing respects y'all. That's why y'all been on YouTube for 10 f***ing years. And if we got to take this f***ing video down YouTube because I'm roasting your dumb ass because I know your audience is going to sit there and report it for her because you're a f***ing pussy, then so f***ing be it. You made me 30 plus f***ing videos talking shit, but you can't last three minutes in the f***ing round with me because you know I'll demolish you. You know I'll you up. You know it. I'll make you the fucking satellite that you really are, you fucking pussy. You fucking know it. I will eat you, mother. Uh, there's a bunch of tweets and there's also clips like these and it's like I said I don't really care if he called them gay like oh this is gay but he's actually like alleging that they're secretly homosexual which the moment you do that and you're Myron like you don't think people are gonna bring up these pictures and obviously every time people do especially Abba and Preach they'll bring up these pictures and then Myron responds with this clip basically saying like oh in a hyper masculine environment this stuff happens like guys touch each other like this I'm like what hey, let me address this real quick because people yeah. say that dumb shit oh I saw gay pictures of you bro those were my teammates have you ever played uh, a sport at a high level military uh law enforcement maybe uh, combat combat sports anything else like that where you have a team it's not gay it's just like it's just what it is you just horse around it's boys being boys right you know guys funny? being guys i don't know man i'm not gonna say 100 percent that i know he's gay or anything because i'm not gonna make that accusation but the gayest thing that takes place when you're like on a sports team or something is like i don't know your buddy scores a point and you're like hey good shit buddy and you slap him on the ass it's like funny or like you hug him or something i don't think like you know you're laying shirtless on another dude in a bed or like you're kissing someone from behind but either way, most people that are calling Myron gay are doing so as a response to him calling them gay. Like, it's just a re reaction to what, what he's saying. Myron will call someone gay, and then people are like, okay, this you, and then they just pull up these pictures, you know? It, it's not even like an offensive thing, it's a defensive thing. And Myron gets so cranky whenever people call him out. Like, he had this thing recently where he literally had a spastic mental breakdown, he's screaming. And then the fans of the show title it, Myron gives epic rant on loyal to a fault, breaks Punisher Cup, and cracks T. TV. So he literally had a mental breakdown because of like, I guess the criticism that he was getting or people like writing comments to him and he starts throwing shit. He breaks a TV and you know, the fans of the show are like, oh, this is awesome. You know, he's done with the bullshit. But I think to most people who see that they're like, oh yeah, something is wrong with this guy. People respect that trait for all you idiots out there that sit there and say, Moon, you're loyal to a fault. Bro, it always comes back around positively when you do good to people, man. Yeah. When you do good to people, then you're not a piece of shit. Right. And you're and you don't sit there and you backbite them and attack them when they're down and everything else like that or trying to get a gotcha moment or any of this other crap. They fucking respect you for that shit, especially in this in this realm in YouTube where everyone's a fucking snake, bro. People are real snakes out here. Yeah. Like preying on your fucking downfall every day. There's people preying on us like going down. People laugh. when We got demonetized. People laugh when we get uh, when anything bad happens to us, etc. But we're still fucking here. And isn't it funny? People are like, oh, we, I, we call Fresh and Fit for comment. You didn't call us. You just made a video. Who said that? Uh, I'm not going really? to say who, but they made a video, and it's like, all right, cool. I see you, bro. I see how it is. I see how it is. I'm going to say quiet, but I won't forget. Actually, high strike's still over there. Okay. There you go. Damn, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, It's crazy, bro. man. People come out the woodwork, man, and it's wild because it's it's funny. It's like... If you make a hippie on Fresh and Fit, you're going to get like a bunch of views because these people can't garner views with, without it, bro. They really can't garner views without it. It's crazy. Hello? Um, WRDDA goes, Fresh, did you see Bar Bernard uh, Riley? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Walter, that man in front of you is a true friend. The man is defending you left and right after tonight's shows. I want to take the man and go buy him an ice cream and get him a nice balloon. Oh, That's from Punisher. I appreciate that, bro. I mean, you know, it really bothers me when people talk shit about my friends, bro. Like, I don't get it. Like, it really does fucking piss me off. When the, when the Andrew Tate allegations came out, fucking pissed me off. Um, oh, shit. When people talk shit about Fresh, gets me fucking mad. When people talk shit about Sneeko, etc. If you're my friend, you're my friend. I'm with you, regardless of whether it's convenient or not. Alright, what are we even talking about at this point, dude? Like, you have real estate. This is because viewers said, like, hey, you know, maybe you should leave Fresh because he doesn't really add anything to the podcast. Because, honestly, the podcast is mainly Myron. And now Fresh is in this big scandal and he's dragging the 
name of the podcast down. Now, I agree that Myron is not going to leave his friend and the person he's built this entire brand up because of a controversy they're in. I mean, they've been in plenty of controversies before, but like he gets so mad because people are criticizing his co-host. Like he starts breaking shit. You fucking pussies in the chat that say, you're Myron, you're loyal to a fault. Shut the fuck up. That does not exist in my fucking vocabulary, loyal to a fault. Because you're loyal regardless. The whole definition of loyal is being loyal and sticking by somebody, whether it's convenient or not, to fucking be there. I don't believe in this term, loyal to a fault. Okay? And if the fault is death, then guess what? I die with a fucking spine. A lot of you motherfuckers are jellyfish. No fucking spine. And that's the reason why a lot of you motherfuckers are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, pieces of shit, fucking dorks with no money and no one fucking respects you because you motherfuckers don't stand for nothing. If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It is what it is. Okay? It is what it is. You motherfuckers. Oh shit. It's getting shaky. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. I got 20 fucking real estate properties so I can tell motherfuckers, fuck you. My net worth is over six fucking million. I get money residually. I don't fucking need to do this shit and I don't need to fucking sell my soul. I stand with my fucking friends. Period. All right? Some of you motherfuckers need to get a fucking spawn, you jellyfish SpongeBob in a fucking pineapple house. Pieces of shit. It pisses me off how soft all you motherfuckers are, bro. It's ridiculous. You motherfuckers haven't stepped in the gym in three weeks trying to tell me how to fucking be loyal to my fucking friends. I'm not going anywhere. All right? I'm tired of you motherfuckers. Leave Fresh. Leave Fresh. He's all you did. He's all you done. Well, fuck you. All right? I don't need to make a fucking cent off this fucking podcast. I'm fine. My real estate will take care of me. Because I knew that if I want to say what the fuck I want to say and not sell my soul, I need to go ahead and build residual income coming in every fucking month so I can sit here and tell you fucking haters, fuck you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say and I don't give a fuck what anybody got to say. I cannot be bought. I have my soul. I have my spine. I have my integrity. I got my 10 toes and my two feet and I fucking stand where the fuck I'm going to stand and if I die there, I'll die there with a smile on my face because I can look in the fucking mirror and be happy with the man that I see. You pussy motherfuckers. You fucking losers that sit there and say, Oh, it's getting rocky, Myron. You should leave. Why do you stay by Stinko? Do you stay by the Tate? Do you still think they're having drive cars? Fresh is the idiot. Why are you still there? Chris drinks too much. Hey, 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 shut the fuck up. That's why no one respects you motherfuckers. Because you don't stand for anything. If there's anything you guys can learn from this fucking podcast, learn this. We've been through hell together. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People are fucking laughing every time we fucking go through some bullshit. People make allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely fucking destroy us. And you know who was around me the whole fucking time? These fucking guys. So you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stand by the guys that stand by me. Because you fucking pieces of shit aren't fucking there when I'm going through it. You pieces of shit aren't fucking there when I'm fucking figuring out what the fuck I'm going to do because we got demonetized. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in their fucking mom came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this bitch lied and said that I got her pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. You fucking idiots. I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing right fucking here. All right? These guys were with me in my darkest times. I'm not going to fucking leave them in their darkest times. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I got my real estate. I got my money. I'm fine. I'm not going anywhere. I can't be bought. Now, it is a live show, and I would say the most embarrassing moments for these guys are all captured live, so there's more of them to criticize than there is for someone like me. But I feel like I would just end stream if I was about to have, like, a manic episode and start breaking stuff. Like, I would just turn off the camera. I mean, he literally says himself, like, oh, I'm making all this money from my residual income because of my real estate investing, and so I don't have to do this for money. It's like, okay, well, so then if you're not getting money out of it, and you're sitting there having a tantrum screaming, breaking shit, all while you're not even getting paid, it's like, what are you even doing just don't just don't stream just take a day off just do other stuff that makes you money but doesn't do this to you anyway though with that all being said hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're at all new to the channel follow my social medias links are all down below and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace